I'm going to be giving you a full Instagram Reels tutorial showing you exactly what every single feature does, how you can use it, and how you can get started with creating Instagram Reels. All right, so I have Instagram pulled up on my phone. I'm gonna put it right here so you guys can see exactly what I'm doing on my screen. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull up Instagram, swipe over as if you're gonna create an Instagram story, and when you do that, you're gonna see at the very bottom of your screen is an option to swipe over to Reels, so like the little black part um, with a bunch of different options. There's post, story, reels, live. You're going to just tap on reels. It's going to bring you to this area of Instagram. And this is essentially where you're going to create your Instagram reels. So I'm going to literally walk you through every single step, every single um, aspect, feature of this and show you exactly how to use it, how to create reels um, and exactly what these features are. So um, the first one at the very top here, so we're going to go down on the left hand side, those buttons and what they mean. The very first one is where you're going to change the length of your reel. So for example, um, the right now the automatic is 15 seconds. If you tap on where it says 15, it's going to change the length of your reel to 30 seconds. I imagine because you can see there's still part of the circle that like isn't filled in. I imagine they're eventually going to update this to also allow up to a minute. But for now in early 2021, you're only able to do 15 or 30 seconds. So those are kind of your two options. So that's how you change your reel to be longer in length. The second one here is the music option. And I know some people still are having trouble with not having music on their reels. So I have a video, I'll put it right here. If you want to check it out, link will be in the description too, um, about how to work around this and how to still have like different sound options for your reels if you don't have the music option. But you should have the music option and hopefully you do. And if you do, you just tap on that music and you can literally just see all the different music that you were able to use for your reel. The next one is something that I actually don't really use, but it's the speed. So it's if you want to do something in slow-mo or if you want to do something um, like a time lapse or something like that, you tap on that one times button and you have a bunch of different options. So you can do it half speed, two times speed, three times speed, four times speed, and film in that speed if that makes sense. So say I select to three times speed and I hit the button to start filming which is the um, little real like colorful real icon down at the bottom if you hit that button it would record whatever you're filming in three times speed super super fast so that's really what that button does I don't use it a whole lot there are some like trends and stuff where you might want to use that so that's handy to know that that's there the next thing is something else that's really really super helpful so the little like face icon with the little sparkles in the corner if you tap on that it goes to your effects these are the same exact effects that you might use on your Instagram stories. And it helps you to keep like a consistent feel if you like different filters on your videos or photos. You can do the exact same filters to your Reels if you're filming within the Reels app, which is very, very handy. So like one of my favorites is, uh, let's see, this one right here. Um, so I could literally add that filter hit the film button and see how it kind of changed the way that my filter look. Also, hello to my mess of an office. Um, but you can actually change how the filter or what filter you have and change the look of your reel if you are filming it within reels. To my knowledge, you cannot add these effects if you film something outside of Reels and then um, add it here, which I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that here in a second. You can't add the effects after the fact. I really wish that they would. Hopefully they will come out with that in the future. But for now, if you want those effects, you have to film your video within Reels or within Instagram stories and upload it to Reels later. The next thing I wanna show you guys that's super, super helpful is the last button on the left-hand side here and is the little timer icon. And if you just tap on that, the awesome, awesome thing about this is you can, so okay, so basically how this works is it counts down to when you're gonna actually start filming your reel. So say you have this set up, you know what you wanna say, you can tap on it, get set up, and then you can hit go, and then it's, go, or it's gonna go after the timer is done, and then you're able just to start filming your reel, which is really, really helpful. So, um, and you're able to do it for however length of time. So say you're doing some lip syncing or something, and you wanna do little bits and pieces at a time, this is really helpful. So you're able to say, okay, so I want to film maybe five seconds of my reel, the first five seconds. You would set the length right there, hit set timer, and then when you go to record, so I'm gonna act like I'm just gonna hit record right here. So see how it's counting down for me, three, two, one. And then basically, um, yeah, and it's gonna film for five seconds. And once that five seconds is up, it's just going to complete and see how you see the little progress bar at the top left-hand side. Um, so basically that part of the reel is filmed, which is super, super helpful. So um, yeah, so that's super helpful for once you actually have, or once you have a real idea where you need to like, hit a timer and then get set up and then you can do whatever you want to do 
that feature is super, super handy. And then one other thing before we move on that I want to show you guys is how to add a, vi add a video you maybe already recorded. So if you just literally swipe up on your main screen, so I'll show you right here, um, it'll take you to all of your recent videos. You can also tap where it says last 24 hours and go to any folder in your uh, photos camera roll and see any video that you have recorded. So this makes it really nice if you want to go back and use video content maybe you filmed and you don't have time to immediately make a reel, which is literally me 99% of the time. And so that's how I'm uploading a lot of videos. Unless I'm sitting down and making reels intentionally, um, I'm used pulling from videos like behind the scenes of me working or other things and making reels based on that. So when you add a video, you literally just hit it. And if you want to add that into your video, if you decide that you want it, or you can even select like a portion portion of it, you hit add in the top right corner and it adds it to your video. And what's nice is you can see the little progress in the top left hand corner of how much that video took up of your real length. So just keep that in mind too. And make sure if you wanted this to be 30 seconds long, make sure you hit that 30 second little area, make sure to make it 30 seconds before you move on and add videos because you can't do it after the fact and it is a pain in the butt. <laughs> I do have one more feature before we get into the editing aspect of reels. Um, and that is the align feature and I didn't even know about this until recently I think it just came out super super recently um, but it's so helpful so I went ahead and filmed you can see it right here I filmed this little short video of myself talking to the camera now the cool thing if you're filming all of this within reels and you're not filming outside of reels you can use the align feature to get yourself almost the exact same spot if you're and this is really helpful if you're doing like transitions i'm coming out with a video soon about transitions specifically and how to do those but um it's super helpful if you want to get yourself like in the same spot maybe change your shirt or um you know do some other cool transition like that so that is this is super helpful for doing that um, so let me show you guys. So say that I wanted to go in now and maybe I put on a different shirt. Maybe I just want to, maybe I needed to collect my thoughts and I want to get myself kind of back um, in about the same place that I was before. So on the left hand side now, you can see um, and right below the timer button, there's also, there's like these two little squares that are stacked on top of each other. So if you hit that, it's going to bring this up. And this is the very last slide of the video that I just filmed. So you literally can like get yourself back to about where you were. So for me, maybe I would do one, do like right about here and you can get it, uh, you can play with it and get it as like specific as you want to, which is super helpful. Then you just start filming again. Um, so that is just such a cool way to be able to use this feature and to do transitions and stuff like that, where you kind of need to like change outfits or something and then get lined up in the exact same spot. Super, super handy. So keep that in mind as you're creating different reels if you might need that. Um, but for now, we're gonna go on to actually the editing part of reels. And when you are done like filming, it's either going to, if you fill up the whole time, it's gonna go automatically advance to this section or you tap the little um, right hand arrow at the bottom right corner of your screen. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap that. And then it brings you to this screen. This is where you can add text. This is where you can um, add GIFs. You can add a few different things. So I'm just gonna show you real quick. We're really just gonna look at the top right hand side of the screen now. There are four different buttons that I want to explain to you guys. So the first one is the save button. And for me, before I add text and stuff, I personally love, and even maybe after I've added some text, before I go to share, just so I have a copy for myself, I will hit that first button. And that is essentially just saving your video. It's the save button. Um, and it's really helpful just to have that extra copy on hand. So I usually go ahead and do that a couple times as I'm editing, just in case I lose my progress. That way I can just go ahead and re-upload the reel later. Um, and then, okay, so another thing that I want to show you guys is that next button. It's like kind of a little smiley face in a square. We're gonna tap that and that's the same thing as that button in stories, right? So you have gifts, you can add different like stickers or something like that to your video. So you can literally search like any gifts that you might want to add onto here. We're just going to add one for fun so I can make sure I can show you guys. Um, let's do this one. And the only thing I don't like about this is like I'll show you with text, but text you can add to certain um, portions of your reel. With this, you can't really do that, but you can tap and hold down on it and you can pin it to a certain area. So maybe like you're moving or you're showing different places like you can pin it to be in just one place of your video you'll just have to try it for yourself and play around with it for it to make a little bit more sense I think um, but that's one thing that you can do but it will be present for the entire video you just have to keep that in mind all right so I'm gonna cancel that um, and we're gonna go ahead and go back to I'm gonna go and throw that away in the trash um, and then we're gonna go ahead I'm gonna show you the drawing part of the editor and this is kind of the same thing with gifts like if you draw on this say I draw like a heart 
I can't make that just be in part of my reel. It's going to be in the entire thing. So just keep that in mind if you want to use that. But essentially, we're, it works the same way as with stories, like the little drawing area in stories. So pretty simple, right? Um, the next one, the most important one here, I think, is the far right-hand corner at the top there. It's the little, like, capital A and lowercase a. If you tap on that, that's where you can add text. And actually, if you just tap anywhere on your screen here, it's going to pull up that text. So this is where you can type in, like, what you're saying. I really recommend that if you're doing, like, talking to the camera type of videos, like you're face talking to the camera, or you want to add some context to whatever you're doing. Um, this is where you're going to add your text. So let's just do some text here. Let's we'll do hey guys, and you can literally you know can change your fonts down here, which is super fun. You can there's three little buttons in the top corner that change different things. Again, it works the same as stories. So if you just play around with it, or if you're already familiar with the text on stories, works the exact same way. So you can customize it in whatever way you want. We're just gonna do something really simple right here, and then to change where it appears in the video. So maybe you want this just to be like an intro, like, hey guys, at the very beginning of the video, you're going to tap in the bottom corner, it's gonna start collecting like a list of all the different texts that are currently in your reel. This li like little bottom section will not appear in your reel, it's just so that you can help, uh, it helps you to edit, right? So if you tap on that one that you wanna change the length, you just tap on the text, and then you can drag, so there's little white, um, they're almost like rectangles with like a black rectangle in them. If you just tap and drag across, um, it, that's where you're going, your text is going to show up. And you can drag across and have it in just parts of the video. And whenever it's not going to be showing up in the video, that's why you see how it got like transparent after where it's going to show up. Um, that's where it's not going to be showing up in the video. And it's just, it, that's just where like the text is, but it's not going to be in that section of the video, if that makes sense. It's just gonna be in that first couple seconds. So let's say that I, that's how I wanted it. Um, I'm gonna hit done. And then the next thing you're gonna do is go share to. And there's a few few different things I wanna share with you guys here. So number one, um, you can write captions just like you can Instagram posts. And the nice thing about Reels in comparison to something like TikTok, TikTok, their caption length is still pretty short, but Reels, the caption length is the same as a regular post. So you can really flesh out your thoughts or ideas or what you were talking about in the video, which is super, super nice. So if you look to the left-hand side, one of the most important features here, if you tap on the little preview of your video, it's gonna give you the option to add a cover. You can either drag your slider at the bottom and you can select a cover from your video that you filmed or you can hit add from camera roll and you're able to create any custom cover that you want and add it. And hello, a oh, lots of pictures of my dog. That's just, that's just who I am. But you're able to add literally any cover you want. And I would recommend, of course, make, having it make sense for the video. So this is the cover that if you post it to your feed, it's gonna show the square middle of that cover photo. I actually have another video, we'll put it in the description and right up here too, of how to create a custom cover photo. I have a free template for you guys. If you wanna check that out, want more info on that, you can go ahead and watch that video but once you add your cover just make sure that it loads let's say I want to do this photo right here make sure that it is loading in here if it hasn't loaded it'll be like a dark gray just make sure that's loaded before you hit done I found that if I don't let that load and I go ahead and just hit done and get too impatient that the cover won't actually post when I go to post my reel so just make sure that you're doing that make sure that it's showing up right here in your preview um, and you're, you should be good to go with that so again you can just write your caption right here this is where you're able to type out any thoughts that you want. And then the one toggle that I really recommend doing is the also share to feed toggle. And this is where it's not only going to share your reels to the explore section of reels to the reel section of your bio, but it's also going to share it to your followers and put it in their home feeds. And I personally really recommend doing that, especially if you don't already have a large, I mean, even if you have a large audience, it's going to push your reel to your followers as well and kind of give it a boost in engagement, especially in that first 24 to 48 hours that their reel is live. So I really recommend making sure that that toggle is on because that is going to be just super great for engagement and helping to get your reel out there and seeing how it's doing. So then maybe Instagram will push it to other users in the explore section of reels in Instagram. And then once you're ready to share your reel, you can either hit share and it's immediately going to share it onto your Instagram feed, or you can also save it as a draft and it's going to save it in the draft section of your Instagram. So let me show you where that is real quick. So if you just hit save as draft and then you go to your Instagram bio, 
go to the real section of your Instagram and then that little draft section will show up right in the top left hand corner just tap on that and you can see all of your drafts right there which is super nice one thing to note though I if you delete the Instagram app from your phone these drafts might also get deleted that hasn't happened to me like when I deleted my Instagram app I still have all my drafts when I redownload it again but I have heard of other people when they delete their app they lost all of their drafts so just keep that in mind again making sure you're saving your reels to your camera roll as you're editing so just in case something like that happens you're able just to go back and re-upload those again one other thing that I want to mention is if you want to go back and save a reel that you have already posted and that you want to save to your camera roll so maybe you can use it on TikTok or something like that all you have to do is go to your bio go to your reel section right here go to any reel that you want to save Hit the little three dots in the bottom um, left hand corner. There's like a button, there's like a heart button, a comment button, a share button, save button. Then there's three little dots. You hit that. Um, and hit save to camera roll it's going to save the reel with the text and everything like that and pot and even the sound if it was an original sound so that's just really helpful if you're wanting to go back and save some of the um, reels that you have already created if you found this video helpful at all please hit the like button because it really helps more people to see this video and to see my content i would just be so so grateful and also if you haven't already be sure to subscribe to my youtube channel because i upload new videos every tuesday just like this to help you with instagram reels short form videos, um, social media marketing strategies. I would absolutely love just to help you in those areas um, of your business or in your content creation. So be sure to hit subscribe. And if you have any questions about anything that I talked about in this video, be sure to drop a comment below. I love chatting with you guys. I love helping you with your questions and I love just hearing how this content has been helping you. So that would just mean the world to me um, to chat with you guys. And also if you're been subscribed to me for a while, I just wanted to give you guys an update that I did decide to drop back down to doing one video every week so you'll get a, a great video from me every Tuesday and I just found that I give you guys way better content if I'm not pushing myself to do two videos versus one video every week um so that's a new update for you guys there's no longer a video on Friday there will be some bonus videos on some Fridays of like vlogs and fun stuff like that I actually have one coming out soon um giving you uh just I actually have one coming out soon about our move. So if you notice, I'm in a new office, which is super exciting. Um, so we actually moved out of, we live in Columbus, Ohio, the Columbus, Ohio area. We're still in that area. We just moved out of the city into a suburb. So before we were living downtown, which is really fun, but we decided um, we just didn't want to live in the city anymore. We wanted to have a little bit more space. So now I officially have my own office back, which is very, very nice. So this is going to be the new space that I'm filming in. And I actually already, um, I don't have a desk yet. I'm sitting like in my new office chair, which how cute is that? Like I, I love it. I'm so excited about it, but this is going to be the, my new filming space as well, which I'm really excited about. It's going to be much easier for filming. I can just keep my stuff set up for the most part and we're good. Um, but also I am also planning on doing a home office tour soon. So if you guys want to see that super soon, let me know once I have everything set up. I'm actually planning on making my own desk. We're working on that this week and hopefully next week I'll have my desk in here too. But um, yeah, if you guys want to see like an office tour after I am done creating all of those things, um, get, kind of getting everything into place here, I would love to show you guys. It'd be super fun just to show you like kind of what my um, office space looks like. But um, anyways, thank you guys so much. So excited that you're here and that you're subscribed and I will see you guys in the next video next Tuesday. Bye guys.